guys, how are you? This is just a quick kind of quick video talking about Justin Case's hybrid and his current and his system setup. Now, as you know, you see here, this is Justin Case's system. This is currently up to date at the moment. Okay, I see it's updating. He's doing two by three kilowatts and his house is using five hundred eleven watts and things like that. Anyway, take note of the system ID here. One triple zero triple zero double zero two. Now, if I go down here, now this is currently with the latest changes I just done to the program. Now, what it does is it updates the battery volts, current, SOC every half an hour. But as you just noticed right here, there's a slight glitch, which I do need to fix up. You notice it is going in twice, but the it's not showing the hut it's not you know showing one o'clock but not the actual half hour increment so that's one glitch we've got to fix up but anyway if you watch here you'll notice that his system is slowly going down in soc at the moment he's gone a bit around this time this is his time not my time at two o'clock and as you notice we go down we go down but you know, the whole point of what I'm doing is showing you guys what does his system actually do, he uses. Uh, you see, battery, his battery bolts, you know, 49.9, SOC's nine, you know, 92.3. But as we go down, you'll notice all of a sudden the hybrid turns on. Now, this records the hybrid, okay, if, there's, if the hybrid is not doing anything at all, it goes into what's called standby mode. It sits there and does nothing. It practically goes to sleep. But as soon as it, it registers some solar coming in, it'll turn on. And when it turns on, it immediately goes to the grid to keep itself going. Until the solar can cover its usage. So you can see here in the our span it only pulled 75 watts so if we keep going and see solar slowly creeping up we keep going through we're down to 19 watts we keep going we're down to 11 we're down to 11 watts as you'll see in a very as you'll see in a minute here we go we just put in 435 watts to the grid and we're taking out four watts not even four watts so as we keep going solar is increasing you know there's 4.14 kilowatts and there you go this is where right now the hybrid is pulling nothing from the grid it is doing everything off the solar so the solar is running the unit right now and this is at 11 o'clock okay we keep going through you know, it's, you know, 4.67 for the solar total. Its battery, its SOC, it's 97.1, 1.8 on the hybrid, zero to the, from the grid. Now, as you'll see very soon, yeah, it's two o'clock, 1.8, zero from the grid, 1.8, zero from the grid again. 1.6, 0 from the grid. 1.3, 0 from the grid. He's already reached 100% SOC. He's currently putting, he's currently using 54 amps. So, get it wrong. His battery's at 54.9 volts and he's at 8.19 amps with house usage of 500 watts. As you know, in my previous video, you can run on 600 watts, no issue. It's just a matter of having the efficient setup, like LEDs, efficient fridge and freezers, LED TVs, and things like that. Uh, little computers, you know, in my house, I've like got little computers in the house that you use fuck all power. <coughs> anyway, now, as you notice right here, it's now again towards 7 o'clock. Oh, sorry, five o'clock. This is where the hybrid usually starts to shut down. It last put in 5.5 kilowatts, and it will start to pull from the grid. So by the time it comes around the login again, 
Uh, that is now 6 o'clock. It's pulling from the grid now. Now so you pulled 39, 49, 39 watts. Oh, actually, point. Get it right, you idiot. 39 watts from the grid, and then it shuts down. And now, as you see, 13 amps from the battery. Uh, f um, uh, there you go, he used 831 watts, so uh, he would have been, I think that's around about when they have dinner, I never know what time they have dinner sometimes. But as we go through, you see, constantly, uh, 18 watts, this is when they're awake, uh, 18 amps on the batteries, 96% as we keep going, as you get more into the night, that is 9 o'clock at night, you know, the amps are slowly dropping off. The watts are slowly dropping off. Yeah, 11, 13. Then, okay, so here. I assume most likely Ziggy's probably going to go to bed and Justin's still up. And then all of a sudden, there we go. House is using 177 watts, 9 amps. So they both go on to bed. As I see, 93.4, but as you notice, it's all going down. Can you see anything from the grid? There's no hybrid. The inverters aren't connected to the grid, so the IPSs are standalone. The hybrid's not running at the moment. There's nothing going in or out of the grid. If there was, it would be logged. And there you go, 7 o'clock in the morning, so, yeah, 7 o'clock in the morning, now there we go, hybrid's turned on, let's pull 6 to 1 watts from the grid, as we go through, more solars came in, keep going, more solars came in, there we go, we've put 800 watts into the grid, and barely take it, taking anything out and there we go 1.57 kilowatts going to the grid as you notice to the grid nothing again 1.8 to the grid from the grid nothing to the grid 1.7 from the grid nothing to the grid 1.5 from the grid nothing and then you get to around this time when it starts to shut down. So you can see this is his current time and date. That's the last update from the system. So that night it was last pulled in, last put in 900 watts, and it's getting to the point where it's shutting down. So this is to, this is video is just to prove once and for all for those disbelievers who really should be under a rock or in a mental asylum. You know, to show that his system is not connected, his system is not pulling from the grid at all. If there was pulling from the grid, you would see evidence showing he is pulling from the grid. And he saw the battery current. You know, he's either pulling from the batteries or charging the batteries. He's not pulling from the grid at all. The hybrid shuts down automatically. There's no point having a unit going when it's doing fuck all. The unit will just shut down automatically. Now, and by the way, this is directly off. Directly off the actual um, off the actual um, side itself. And you can see right here. There you go. Silly thing. But there you go, you know. Proof of orders. So none of this crap say, oh, he's doing this, he's doing that. Well, this is proof. So <coughs> get your finger out of your butt and see the, the actual data for itself. I'm not falsifying any data here. No, this is him right now. 1.7. Yeah, he's doing four. 130 
300, 3, 400 watt to the grid, to the grid. So, none of this crap. So if I were to go into here, okay, now this is his system right now. Now here, see? That's currently what he's doing. AC, this is, the AC out is to the house. Nothing is going to the house on the hybrid. This is nothing. We go to the IPSs. Okay. There's the volts and everything. There's, there's the solar stuff. And the way this program works is if the if the hybrid was powering the house, this would show you know, your your volts and your watts, and it showed in here. And well, just here, this unit is these are powering the house, and this is what's coming off them. So you see, you know, 600 watts and all that stuff. So, you know this funny business that he's pulling from the grid when this is pure evidence. This does not flash. If he was actually on the grid, this would not flash. Understand that. If he was pulling, this would be red. There would be red, all you will see is red everywhere. Red to the house, red from the grid. But as you see, green, gr green. So this means it's all green energy, all solar energy. This is solar energy going to the grid. So anyway, guys, this is to show you the truth about just in case it's hybrid and his system set up and everything. Unless you fully understand the way the way he's wired up and everything, the way the setup is and a, a, the way Australia works, you won't understand everything. The law in Australia says we cannot have our houses without the wires connected to the house. We can't have if you, unless you're in a unless you're in a fifty acre um fifty acres of land in a very rural area where there's no water, no power, you're allowed to be no wires to the house but when you live in a semi-rural area or a city you by law you must have wires and water connected to your house it doesn't mean you have to use them not at all but by law we must have the wires and water connected to the house but doesn't mean we have to use them if you guys have been following what's happening in America, there was, there's a new law that was put through one of the states, whereby all the people who were running off grid had to have wires and water connected to their house. It doesn't mean they had to use it, but they had to connect it to the house by law. So, get out of your head. Oh, wires are connected. Who gives a shit? Don't wires are there but who says you have to use them so I'm telling you right now Justin has wires to his house but he's not using them he's only using them to put power to the grid he is not taken from the grid anyway guys this is me ranting on, rant, ranting on enough already this is just to prove some idiots around the place you know you can't, still can't believe hardcore data go and see a psych because your need your you need something put in between your ears just to put you out of your misery anyway guys take care i'll see you guys another time see you bye